Hello, everyone. How was that little bit of nostalgia for you? Welcome to our Sims 3 LP. Y'all, I am so excited for this. I am so, so excited for this. Hang on, I need to turn my volume down <laughs> just a tad. Uh, I didn't mean to skip through that little uh, machinima thing they had going on there, <laughs> but... I am so friggin' excited to do this Sims 3 LP. Um, I am not sure how this is going to work out, just to give you a heads up, because the last time I tried to play The Sims 3, it was super, super laggy. So I'm hoping that I don't have that problem uh, this time, but only time will tell. Uh, we are going to give it our best shot. So. We're going to start a new game here in the beautiful Sunset Valley. Before Pleasant View, there was Sunset Valley, founded by the Goth family and built up by the Landgrabs to be a quiet, peaceful town. But when the Altos arrive with uptown ideals, will the townsfolk feel the need to choose sides? Let's go! Here is the beautiful Sunset Valley. Let's go and hop in to create a sim. All right, y'all, let's start creating our sim. So this is the female sim that it started us with. And honestly, she's actually kind of cute. There's a couple things I want to change up, but honestly, not bad. So um, I like her skin tone. Let's pick a name for this girl. I don't have one picked out already. So let's just kind of see what we have here. I kind of like Charity. Charity's cute. Charity Vogel. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, I like her hair. I'm just not sure that I'm digging the color. Uh, let's hop in to one of the best parts of Sims 3, which was the customizable hairs, clothes, furniture, you name it. It was customizable and I loved it. I thought it was amazing. It was so, so good. Look how cute. I'm just obsessed. I love her so much. Um, honestly, they did a great job. Like the randomization is really <laughs> not bad. It's better than in The Sims 4, if we're being real honest. Um, let's kind of mess around with those eyebrows though a little bit. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, she's honestly so cute, y'all. I feel like I want to change up her head shape just a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Let's do, yeah, let's make that a little smaller. She's got quite the, quite the nose on her. It doesn't look bad from here, but then you turn to the side and you're like, dang. Um, <laughs> that's bad. I shouldn't say that. I'm so sorry. Um, this i love this that looks so nice okay um the width of her jaw honestly that looks good it does need to come down just a tad there we go i like that okay honestly her cheekbones are beautiful you can't really see her ears so i'm not gonna worry about that too much um let's move on to her eyes her eyes are quite beautiful um, I don't want to mess with their color because I do like them. I'm just going to kind of mess with the shape a little bit. I do want to make them just a tad bit smaller because I feel like they are very, very large. Uh, there we go. There we go. Pretty. Okay. Um, all right. Now, eyebrows. Honestly, her brows look great the way they are. I'm just going to... There we go. I, I kind of like that a little better. Um, beautiful. Okay. Now, the nose, girl. The nose. Honestly, I like the shape of her nose. Um, I think I just want to tone down the width just a little bit. There we go. And then make it just a little... Make it not, you know, not poke out so much. Okay, honestly, that's better. I, I like that a lot. Um, there, perfect. Okay, uh, let's throw some makeup on this girl. Okay, Miss Ma'am. Um, let's do, ooh, this is pretty. Turn down the opacity just a little bit and maybe 
we're we're gonna make her favorite color purple because purple is my favorite color and you know um okay yeah i i like that i like that i maybe i do want to change her eye color a little bit i just want her to have ooh, beautiful just like that oh my gosh they look so cute okay uh eyeliner this is where we're gonna struggle y'all because <laughs> the the look at the time that the sims 3 <laughs> that the sims 3 was made was like heavy liner <laughs> so uh this is this is where i'm gonna struggle a little bit i don't mind the the black liner on the bottom i just want to turn down the opacity there we go that doesn't that doesn't look bad um and then let's find us some a little blush um mm, no i kind of like this if we turn down the opacity a little bit there we go i like that i like that cute okay um no tattoos i don't think let's move on to clothing now we can only have one everyday outfit um so we're gonna have to find something that we like in here um Honestly, I love a good cheetah print. So I think we're going to go with that. We love a denim skirt. Yes, queen. Okay. Um, I actually, I don't mind the denim skirt. Um, the shorts are also kind of nice. Ooh, I love these jeans. Oh, I love these. So comfy. Okay. I do want to kind of... Uh, bring down her body weight just a tad and her muscle size by uh quite a bit because uh i just feel like she's she was a little too muscular for my liking um let's get some shoes on this girl what do we have here these are cute Ooh, love those love those yes okay um no accessories i don't think moving on to uh, formal wear uh, let's do, uh, ooh, this is pretty. I like this. We're going to do that. And honestly, the shoes aren't bad, but let's see if we could find something a little better. Ooh, I love these. These are good. I like the dress, but I think I want it in a darker color. So let's use the amazing color wheel that came with The Sims 3. I know so many people want this color wheel in The Sims 4. Honestly, I wouldn't mind it, but it's not a huge deal for me. I feel like sometimes The Sims 3 was a little too much um, as far as customization and stuff. Like, it's nice to be able to customize these things, um, but sometimes it just felt like it was so labor intensive um getting everything customized the way you wanted it and whatever i just felt like it took so long and i was not about it so i used the pre-made swatches a lot when i played the sims 3. <laughs> that's just me though Ooh, i love this pattern i love that that's cute i think we're gonna go with that that's super super cute okay athletic honestly this doesn't look too too bad um I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I think I'd rather do like a plain tank top. Of course, we're going to do purple because, you know, our girl loves purple. Um, Let's do this a little more into the purple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes, girl. Okay. Um, Let's get us a pair of shorts. Uh, these don't look too bad, honestly. Let's go and see if we can find a different, like, fabric that we like here. Honestly, this is not bad. If we lighten this up, there we go. I kind of like that. That's, that's not bad. Not bad. All right, let's go for shoes. Honestly, these shoes are great. I, I'm really liking the way her body looks now compared to what it looked like before. I'm, I'm a big fan. Okay, loving it. Um, and then swimwear. Ooh, no, girl. No, no. I love this swimsuit. I thought it flattered like every Sims body type. I always loved that swimsuit. Um, I really like this one too. Let's see if we can 
you know, just just customize it a little bit. I mean, if we have the option, why not, right? All right, let's grab us a swim top. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, Um, do we want to put some sunglasses on? I feel like, of course, we do. Let's do these, and then let's do this yes queen i love it okay <laughs> okay i love it i love it i love it okay perfect so we have our sim all created um i am gonna go and change up her makeup a little bit because she is not wearing purple in this outfit so i don't want to i don't want to mess with it too too much there we go i like this okay now let's go to personality now it's already given her some traits it looks like uh but i'm i'm not about these traits so let's let's change them uh, a little bit here so one thing about the sims 3 was they came in clutch with the traits okay like there were so many to choose from and i feel like the traits in the sims 3 really did have a very large impact on your sims personality and the way they lived their life um so i want to be very careful <laughs> about what i pick here i do want her to be uh charismatic so they are skilled socializers and love to throw parties so i love that for her um i do think that i want to give her the hopeless romantic they passionately seek their soulmate they want romance true love and surround themselves with cheesy romantic television and novels so love that um now let's kind of filter down here to lifestyle let's see kind of what we got here um i think that she will probably be Ooh, maybe frugal they like to clip coupons to save money relish a good deal and hate being wasteful um let's i let's do family oriented because we are going to focus on the sims 3 uh base game for our generation one and then with every generation we're just going to move through all the packs that i have i don't know if i will be purchasing extra packs for the sims 3 uh because i don't play it very often um, I don't know if it's really worth it for me to purchase more packs to play. So we're going to start with the ones I have and then we'll just kind of see where we go. Um, should we make her easily impressed? Uh, easily impressed Sims are easily astounded by everyday stories and are always pleased with the smallest of accomplishments. I think we definitely are going to do that. And I want her to have a good sense of humor too. I love that. All right. So we have some lifetime wishes to choose from now these are generated based on the traits that you chose so we have surrounded by family raise five children from babies to toddlers i don't know about all that that's a lot <laughs> um we have star news anchor so reach level 10 in the journalism career international super, super spy reach level 10 in the law enforcement career track special agent branch super popular be friends with 20 sims um and golden tongue golden fingers master the charisma and guitar skills you can also choose from any of the other aspirations they have they had a ton um so let's see kind of what we have here i kind of like the idea of a renaissance sim so reach level 10 with three different skills i think we're gonna choose that because i think i want her to kind of branch out and explore all different kinds of skills uh within the game and i think that's gonna be really fun for us so um it's set her favorite color as pink we know that is not true her favorite color is purple girl uh and then she likes indie music and she likes grilled salmon which is fine with me uh and it looks like she is a virgo perfect okay we are all done let's go ahead and jump into gameplay finally so we do need to purchase a little home so we have um we have a uh, basically one option um we have this little shotgun style two bedroom one bathroom home we are going to purchase that and here we are in our new household. So she wants to join the journalism career. I'm going to go ahead and pin that for her. But the first thing that I want to do is I want to hop in here and uh, kind of start taking care of getting rid of some of these things that we don't need. So uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. 
Uh, is there anything else we don't really need? I don't think we need this chair. We probably won't use that very much. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot how to place objects in The Sims 3. I'm so used to The Sims 4 and like the camera in The Sims 4 and all of that. This is going to be rough to get used to, y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to need a little lamp. So uh, maybe this little desk lamp would be nice. Oh yeah, let's put it there. That's awesome. Okay, great. Um, and I think... I think I want to get rid of this lamp. I don't think I like that lamp. I think I would prefer this one for the bedroom. Um, and then let's kind of change up her bedspread a little bit here. Let's just, let's just make it a little more her. You know what I mean? I kind of like that. Okay, let's change this to white. And then we'll change this to that kind of light lilac purple pretty okay all right i like it i like it okay um and then maybe can we just change this to like there we go like that and then this will change there we go that's not bad okay i want to change this to like a white wood though can we do that is that like a thing here we go okay not bad not bad. Okay. I think we're off to a good start. You know, I think uh, we definitely have. I think we definitely have some room for improvement here. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we definitely need to kind of move this. Ah, shower. Wait, what is the correct way? Which way does this face? Like that? Yeah, okay, that's that's the correct way. Okay, great. Um, what else? Okay, I think I've got everything set up in here a little more to my liking. Uh, we'll kind of finish with the rest of the house as we go, but I want to get into actually playing. So uh, let's take a look at each of our options we have here. So obviously, this is our needs panel. We have our lifetime happiness panel. Uh, and then we have our uh, opportunities panel. We don't have any skill or career opportunities right now. Uh, we also have our inventory, our collection journal, and then our beautiful BlackBerry cell phone. Um, we can uh, change our ringtone. Love that. <laughs> Okay, um, and then we have our skills panel, our career panel, our relationship panel, and our semology panel. So we have 16 days until we age up uh, into an adult, which shows all of our traits here, all of our favorites, our scrapbook, and our family tree. Love that. Here is where we have all of our moodlets. This is our mood meter. And then we have our lifetime wish here. This is where all our wants uh, and fears are. And I think that's basically it. So she does want to join the journalism career. So let's come in here and have her try to find a job. <laughs> She's laughing at literally nothing. <laughs> Love that. So we have culinary. That's not what we want. We don't want law enforcement, music, journalism. That's what we want except okay she wants to throw a party uh but we don't really know anybody so um that's gonna be a problem um we could uh start practicing our writing which would be good we're gonna need that for our uh, journalism career uh, we could attend a writing class but that's gonna cost us four hundred dollars so i don't know if that's really worth it. Um, ooh, you know what we could do? We could, oh, there's no option to, I was, I was thinking maybe we could, um, we could go, she does want to take a class on the writing skill. Um, I don't want to prepare waffles. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and head out and let's go to the uh, 
supermarket, we're going to go shop for some groceries uh, because I want to be able to make like some cookies or something uh, to bring over to some of our neighbors' houses uh, and just go kind of introduce ourselves to some of our neighbors because that will be fun. Uh, we also get a newspaper delivery. Oh my gosh, I remember the newspapers. Um, so we can find some discount classes, which would be really cool. So we're definitely going to do that. Uh, we could check on some weekly events and just read the paper. Um, let's see if we can find, oh, there's a birthday cake. Okay. Um, all right. So how do we, I want to buy like stuff to make. I don't know, like cookies and stuff. Like, how do I, how do I do that? Oh, maybe I need to, maybe I need to learn the recipe first. That's probably why. I probably need to learn the recipe first. Okay, well, we'll work on our cooking skill and stuff like that later, I guess. Let's just focus on trying to get gardening classes are discounted today okay well that's not what i want i don't really want a gardening class uh amateur olympics the stadium committee is encouraging all sims to come and try out in the amateur olympics in addition to feeling good about yourself you might also win a cash prize so that would be saturday um and there's an eating contest at the local restaurant uh wednesday from three to nine so i mean you know your girl loves food. We could go to the eating contest. That might be cool. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what else we could do. Maybe we should just go to uh, Central Park and just kind of meet some people. Let's just get out on the town, you know? Okay, we are here at the park. There are so many Sims here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's find some people to introduce ourselves to. There's Aaron Kennedy uh iliana langrack uh bb hart uh let, let's go introduce ourselves uh to this erin she's like hi my name's charity it's really nice to meet you uh let's uh, get to know her a little bit let's ask her about her career um enthuse her about our new house uh, talk about, you know, our new job. Um, and then we'll just chat a little bit. Okay, we learned Erin is athletic. Cool. Oh, no wonder she's athletic. She's in the military. That totally makes sense. Let's tell her a little joke. Um, let's maybe impersonate a celebrity. Um... Under family oriented, we can talk about our family, ask her if she's single. Let's do that. Let's ask her uh, if she's single. I just want to know if she's married or anything. <laughs> the way their mouths move in The Sims 3, I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. We learned that Aaron's single. So she is actually having a ton of fun just chit chatting with Aaron. What kind of silly face was that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Erin thinks Charity is being amusing. Love that. Okay, are there any other Sims, like, hanging out here that we could maybe introduce ourselves to? Uh, Jack Bunch? Yeah. Um, there's lots of people over here. Uh, Hank Goddard? He's actually kind of cute. Let's maybe go over and do a friendly introduction to Pauline Wan and then a friendly introduction to Hank Goddard as well. I just kind of want her to meet a couple of people. She's like, hi, I'm Charity. I'm new in town. It's really nice to meet you all. Here's a Bessie and Buster Cavill, uh, Alan Wantanabe. Uh, let's maybe ask Hank's sign. Okay, so she learned that Hank is a Gemini. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but okay. Let's compliment his appearance a little bit. 
Uh, we'll just kind of chat with him, ask about his career. We'll talk about our new job, enthuse about our new house, get to know him. You know, just kind of the same interactions that we did with Aaron. Uh, oh, we learned that Hank is in a relationship with Pauline. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, di I didn't realize that that girl that I just introduced myself to was your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sorry about that. That makes this super, super awkward. <laughs> um, let's have her go ahead and grab a plate from this picnic basket. I mean, it's here, so we might as well. Uh, it's free food, so I'm not going to say no to that. Um, it's getting pretty dark, and it looks like just about everybody uh, is headed home. Let's have her go ahead and do the same. Uh, she's going to go home, use the bathroom, go to sleep. She does have work uh, tomorrow. So we do want to try to get a good night's sleep. Okay, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. She is up bright and early. Let's have her go and take a shower oh my gosh she didn't make the bed <gasps> y'all i am so used to the sims 4 i forgot that in the sims 3 you have to make them make their bed oh my gosh it's the little things y'all it is the little things okay let's go ahead and have some breakfast we'll have some waffles let's hope that she doesn't burn the house down uh <laughs> trying to make these waffles because I would be so upset. Yay! She successfully made the waffles! <laughs> okay, go eat your waffles, girl. Enjoy that breakfast. You deserve it. Uh, when she's done with that, I think we'll have her come in and maybe just play uh, some computer games for a little bit. She does need to have some some fun before she goes off to work. Uh, so I want her to I want her to be in a really good mood when she goes to work. The carpool for her will arrive in about an hour. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too long before we can afford to buy ourselves a car. All right, she's had enough fun. Let's have her clean up this plate really quick uh, before the carpool gets here. Hurry, hurry, you gotta go to work. <laughs> Yay, have a great first day, Charity. She's a paper girl. Extra, extra, let, the, uh, let others read all about it. You have no time to sift through the news section when everyone else is waiting to get their paper. Throw the papers just right to land them on the customer's doorsteps and the editor may be able to find a desk job for you love that okay uh we are definitely going to work hard today we definitely want to work as hard as we can try to get a promotion charity vogel just went to work for the first time another 50 years of the daily grind and she can retire <laughs> Oh, no, and we just got our bills. Oh, my gosh. I hope our bills aren't too much. Um, she wants to befriend Cyclone. I don't know who that is. Do we even know him? Oh, is he our boss? He is. Okay. Well, our work performance is flying up, so that's good. I don't think we're going to get a promotion today, uh, but I think we're on a pretty good track to... To get a decent, prom to get, you know, a promotion decently quickly. We got $228 today, which is still not enough to take that writing class that she wants to take. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> all right. We have our bills. Uh, they're only $85. So not bad at all. Um, let's have her come in and play some computer games because she needs to have some fun. And then we'll just have some lunch. We'll just have a salad maybe. Uh, and then we're going to have her go ahead and get some sleep. Now, I am going to try my very best not to cheat when it comes to needs and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, if we have other things that we want to do, I might cheat her needs up every now and again uh, just to kind of make it a little bit easier to really explore the game and, you know, all of the different things that it has to offer. Um Honestly, though, she's doing really well. It hasn't been too hard keeping up with her needs as of now. Um, 
So let's hope it stays that way. She is getting pretty sleepy, though. So she's going to go ahead and get some sleep. Uh, she'll be fully rested by 3 a.m. So maybe when she's done with that, we can have her practice her writing a little bit. All right. She is definitely going to need to take a shower, use the bathroom. And then, of course, we're going to have waffles again for breakfast. She wants to learn the charisma skill as well. So we'll definitely have her work on that. She just grasped the basics of writing. She'll always remember that moment when it all started to come together. Can words move another sim to cry, to laugh, to fall in love? Charity has begun the literary path, one that is not always the less traveled, but perhaps the one in need of excellence. Will the next bestseller be penned by Charity? Her carpool is going to come in an hour. She got the basics of cooking and she is late for work. <laughs> love that okay so she's working hard hopefully she'll be able to get that promotion okay well still no promotion which kind of sucks but we do have the money to take that writing class now that she wants to take so let's have her go ahead and just do that because it's something she wants to do um and we have the money, so why not? Now, I know we only have like $50 left now, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> she wants to write a novel and a science fiction novel at that. So, I mean, okay, let's have her go ahead and recycle this nasty newspaper that's sitting in our house. And then we'll have some lunch. Um, oh yeah, let's just make a peanut butter and jelly. Honestly, you guys, I am having so much fun. Oh, she's getting a phone call. Oh, it's Aaron. Uh, Aaron Kennedy would like to chat. Does Charity Vogel want to talk? Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, no, no, no. Don't put away the leftovers. Uh, go ahead and eat your peanut butter and jelly. And then once you're done with that, can we just have you recycle that? And then... Y'all, this camera is so hard for me to get used to. Um, and then we'll play some computer games for a little while. And we can have her start her sci-fi novel. We definitely won't finish it because she is very tired. But, I mean, it's fine. We can at least get started on it. Well, this first episode has been so much fun, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode as much as I have enjoyed playing through the episode. Uh, if you guys have specific things that you want to make sure we do that come with The Sims 3, uh, remember we are just playing base game for right now. Um, so if you guys have specific things that you want me to do, please make sure that you leave them down in the comments below. And uh, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye.